What's up, Stu Crew? Um, just jump right into it. I'm actually down here at the urgent care that is not too far from our house. Um, Zade's been having a little bit of a cough. So we told you guys a while back he had a cough and it seemed to get better. We've done some breathing treatments and stuff like that. Um, seems like it's coming back and like worse. Um, he kind of sounds a little rattly in his chest. So we're gonna bring him down here and see if they would suggest anything. Maybe a different type of breathing treatment or uh, I don't know, something that could help clear it up, Lord willing. I just don't want it to turn into anything worse. There's a friend staying with Carlin right now, so I could break away to take Zade. <laughs> so from one thing to the next, but Lord willing, he'll be all right. We're gonna get him in here, see how long it's gonna take to get him seen. And then I'll head back home with Carlin. So just updating you guys. Um, say a prayer for him, but Lord willing, he'll be okay. I just uh, mainly don't want it to turn into anything worse. So we'll see what they say. Hello. <laughs> Somebody's teething. So I went in, did paperwork and whatnot, and now I've chosen to sit in the car and wait. They said I could wait inside or sit in the car and wait. So they're supposed to call me and get him in. Um, I mean, like I said, you look at him, he seems actually, he doesn't look sick to me. He's not even like just coughing every five seconds and wheezing too much. You can't even really hear him wheeze, I don't think. See if you can. So yeah, I know normally when a kid gets really sick, like you can hear their chest like really wheezing or it's caving in or something. All right, buddy, they just called. They're ready. Let's go. All right, we're going in. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, you chubby bunny? Are you feeling okay? No coughing right now? All right, we're back home. Um, they were kind of saying what I thought all along. They were like, his chest sounds fine. It doesn't seem to be anything super bad, um, but they're gonna give us some more. Um, we had some of the m prescriptions or whatever you wanna call it uh, from the past for like a breathing treatment. So we had done some of those on him and they said they're gonna give us some more of those and start doing it, you know, multiple times a day. And if it doesn't clear up in a few days, then we could take him to his pediatrician or something like that. So they said right now he sounds honestly fine, um, but we'll give you those prescriptions and that should clear it up. So we'll see more breathing treatments several times a day and hopefully he'll be better. We'll keep you updated. Now let's go check on Carlin, Layla. This is actually a Sunday, um, the 21st, 20th, 21st, 21st. We didn't go to church today because Carlin had, um, I don't know if we even told you guys. It all runs together. Carlin had a bad seizure yesterday, a really bad one. I caught her at least, I was walking with her and caught her, but um, she was shaking and like her head was almost even kind of hitting the concrete from her convulsions. Worse than I've probably seen yet with the convulsions. So um, she slept in today trying to relax and get a little better. Um, yeah, I forget to update you guys, sorry. I took a little video for the doctor because he always likes to see if we can film what each one looks like since sometimes they're a little bit different. So maybe I'll throw that up for you guys, but it was uh, it was a scary one, honestly. I know Carlin says I say that every time, but this one she was uh, convulsing even more than usual. Uh, and this is still on the medication, so I know it just discourages her, but I don't know. Actually doing more this time. Wow, that's kind of the most she's done with her head. Hey, babe. Hey, hey, it's okay. The whole max ten stuff. It's about rain again. It's about to rain again? Yeah. Oh no, we better get in the car. <laughs> hey babe. Can you hear me, Carlin? It's okay, baby. She's okay. She's just resting. Whoa, look at those trees. The trees over there. Whoa. 135? 153. Oh, 150. I don't think she's ever spiked like that. Normally hey, Zach! Her, normally her heart rate Zach. goes down. 162. On the other side like this. Let's get her air up for breathing. Nothing you can do here. Just don't fight it. Got an appointment coming up this week, back with the neurologist, so see if anything new happens. Hey friends, we're back in the car. <laughs> um, it's always something, isn't it? Always something. Now, um, 
Our Explorer, the trunk won't open, okay? It almost seems like it's an electrical issue. None of the buttons will work. Um, even in the settings, like the power lift gate option is like darkened out, like I can't access it. Um, and since the trunk won't open, you know, that makes traveling and everything hard, loading the trunk. But it's not just that. Since the trunk won't open and I think it's electrical, it's telling my car that the trunk is ajar. So you see this? It's leaving the lights on. <laughs> so then it's killing my battery. Ah, so many problems. Um, so Carlin's brother came over yesterday and helped me jump it off. Cause look at that. I don't even have jumper cables. I'm, so, I know nothing about cars and I'm not even prepared. I got to order jumper cables. So I've got it here at a shop. Actually a couple at our church owns this. So nice. So sweet. Um, actually it's the husband and wife. Um, she was our realtor. If you watch the video when we got the house. So they are super kind. So I'm here going to drop it off. A friend is staying with Carlin again. <laughs> so I could come and her dad's gonna pick me up and bring me back home so thanks to everybody for helping us out it really means a lot it's a it's just crazy always trying to get things lined up to not leave Carlin alone and still do the day-to-day -day stuff so Lord willing they'll fix this what's up friends um, it's another day we are actually doing a photo shoot for the boutique um, we're at like a place in Knoxville called the Bleak House it's a really cool like older building I don't know it's probably historical because they've got things like roped off and stuff, but I don't know much about history. <laughs> Terrible. I, I, I didn't do great in history. Anyways, we're out here doing a photo shoot in Knoxville. I'm actually helping snap a few photos. <laughs> I'm learning. I don't know much about how to pose ladies in dresses, so I'm just here to snap. Carl and them can do the posing, but it's been fun. Uh, update on our car. They were actually, the appointment was this morning. I dropped it off yesterday because it worked out better. I had a ride back and everything with Carlin's dad. And I knew if I dropped it off this morning, it'd be hard to get a ride back and have someone stay with Carlin, and it's crazy. So the appointment was actually this morning, so they actually did find out what was wrong with the trunk. I can't wait to ask them, but they were able to get it fixed, so that's a huge blessing. And then they called me and said, actually, I needed new tires. <laughs> I should probably look down at things like that more often, but I really don't. So I don't know how bad they were. Just praise the Lord, we didn't wreck or anything, but they acted like they were probably pretty bad. So... Uh, they're going to put some new tires on and then hopefully it'll all be ready this afternoon. So keep you updated right now. We're working. It's been a fun day. Busy day. It is Tuesday, 23rd. My birthday's tomorrow. <laughs> Sheesh. I don't know what we're doing. Okay, so we ended up going out some to celebrate Tuesday night, the night before my birthday. Um, Carlin just took me out. <laughs> it's a funny story. Um, so last year she bought me like a Tesla toy souvenir car for my desk and stuff. And then this year she took me to Tesla. We did not buy anything, but it was fun. We had a blast looking around. I love those cars. Kind of a dream car situation there. But hey, last year a toy car, this year getting to see them. Maybe next year she'll buy me one. What? Who? Did I say that? What? <laughs> you never know. You never know. I even know how to shuttle. You have to like push twice because I've watched so many videos. <laughs> I feel like a kid in the candy store. We did have a fun time though. Layla was super adorable. She was even going around telling us exactly what car she wanted to get. Layla, Layla, go show daddy which one you want. Oh, you want the blue one up there? Yeah. On the wall? Yeah. Why, is blue your favorite color? Yeah. <laughs> These are definitely sick. They just look so good. After that, we uh, ended up going to the mall to hang out a little bit, picked up a couple things, and we even went to dinner at one of my favorite places. Um, honestly, the next day though, for my actual birthday, we kind of just chilled together and spent time as a family. So you don't really see anything coming up of that, but Carlin says she's still got some things to celebrate this weekend and maybe on into next week, so. I'm pretty excited. Awkward. <laughs> Hi, friends. Hey. So, where are we at? Today's quite busy. Yep. We actually just pulled up to my neurologist follow-up appointment. Yep. So, we're going to show them, like, I guess we're going to kind of update them of what's been going on. Show them some videos of my last seizures. I'll show them that video um, you guys saw from Saturday. That one was honestly the worst one. Carlin gets mad because I say that every time, but... Lou says that every time. Um, anyway, so today, Evan, so today we dropped off Izzy at the groomer. She's getting her nails trimmed and getting a bath. <laughs> um, she actually messed up her last bed, so we're actually going to have to run to Target. I have to exchange some stuff, too. 
We got some house stuff. My best friend's flying in tonight. And so she's going to be staying with us over the weekend. So the kids are going to have like a heyday. Uh, what else is happening? Oh, we got to run by. Ooh, yep. something exciting. Mm -hmm. Evan's going to pick up his journeyman ticket. Yep, at finally the can go pick that up. It's, Maybe when uh, we get there too, we'll update you on exciting. his work situation. Yeah, too. there's kind of a lot to go over, so we'll probably tell you that. Yeah, there. we'll update you when we get there, but right now we're going to go into the neurologist, see what we can find out. Um, I don't know if they're going to see if like my meds chew. Last time they took my blood to make yeah. sure my, my levels were right and everything, and they upped my um, seizure meds too mm -hmm. to see if that would help. You know, not let them break through if it is epilepsy or whatnot. Yeah, so. they called this a checkup, so we're kind of feeling like we won't learn yeah. anything. But you never know. You never know. So you never know. High hopes. Keep now I'm uh, feeling feeling awkward holding the camera because that uh, Johnson Controls van. I'm pretty sure that's a guy I used to work with. Okay, so that's really awkward. Yep. Okay, now I'm awkward. Okay, just put it down. Just yep, because like doing that, electrical please. work, we would also help out some other like low voltage businesses. Johnson Controls. He's getting out of his van right now. Oh gosh, I'm literally gonna look. Away. No, no, it's not him. him. He looks just like him. Good. <gasps> he doesn't know me. I don't know why it matters. I guess just because it would look weird. We're holding the camera, talking to it. <laughs> All right, friends. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. We're going inside. Waiting. It's a favorite part of doctor's appointments. It's like a date. It is. We've had so many more dates lately because of this. <laughs> yeah, they just all like focus on doctors. In hospitals or doctors' offices. And We're so cool, Evan. That's right. It's all in the people you date with, not the out of the place. Adventure, <laughs> not the adventure. Of it. <laughs> Thank you. Carlin's a little wiped out. She's hungry. We're gonna get some food real quick. Good afternoon. What can I get for you? Um, let me see. Try to make sure there's no Taco Bell. Why? Up in the old Burleys. Mm. I feel it. <laughs> I feel that there is. Um, you know, pumpkin spate lice, lice vodka. Hmm? Pumpkin latte spice, spice pumpkin latte. Yeah, my spice pumpkin latte is available at Duncan. Oh. Good to know. Yeah, it's easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> my Instagram father has told me. His last Google, <laughs> his last Google search was. Yeah. Yeah. When's pumpkin spice latte coming back? I mean it. Cause it sounds good. <laughs> okay, I'm not mocking Carlin, cause I kind of think it's it's maybe having to do ever oh since God, she started I having see. these episodes. But it's hard for her to no, talk it's lately. Not. It's because I'm a little drowsy. Yeah. And I'm a little tired. Yeah. One, two kids. Yeah. Secondly. My meds have been upped. Yeah. Thirdly, I'm pretty sure I'm really low in iron. Any takeaways from today? Mm -hmm. Anything you learned? Okay. So, they thought my blood pressure was low. They possibly think my um, iron is low, which makes sense because um, in the hospital, they had me take two iron infusions. So, we're going to get that figured out, get my iron levels up again. So, that's yeah. probably why I'm tired too. Um, what else? Mainly just if the heart doctor doesn't find anything at her upcoming test, they're probably going to get ready to do like a five-day EEG in the hospital. Yeah, so we're scheduling that. They're supposed to call us and schedule it, but they said like October. And I was like, well, then what if they don't find any, anything there? Like, what's next? Like, like, I'm at the point where I'm like, I'm ready to just find it out. Do whatever we need to do. If we need to move somewhere, go somewhere, do what? Which I didn't even mention that yet. But she was like, if we don't find any answers with your five-day EEG in the hospital. What? <laughs> no, you put that in Did you lose your train of thought? No. No, I didn't. I burped. Oh. <laughs> don't put that in there, hmm. meanie. Thoughts of putting it in there right now? Is that what's in happening? In the <laughs> Evan, the editor, thinking about putting that in there? Hmm. <laughs> You're so mean. Um, so if they don't find answers, they're going to refer me to the Mayo Clinic. Which is good. A lot of you yeah. guys have been suggesting something like that, but I don't know. Maybe I can just drive her there and just get her in myself. I'm not really sure how it all works, but I was hoping to be referred or something. So I feel like this is maybe the best step to let them go through their tests. And then if they could refer us somewhere like that, 
Um, I would assume they would take it more serious when you get there. You'd get in faster, stuff like that, if you're referred from somewhere. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure this out. But, but it was nice that they mentioned that without us yeah, saying anything. Like, exactly. They were like, we yeah. need to figure this out. Exactly. We're like, well, that's helpful because it's kind of in a weird stage with yeah. two kids and trying to do regular life. So that's pretty much all they said today. It was more or less a checkup. Um, that's about all we have. Um, we're eating, and we're actually going to head to my uh, local union and take care of some paperwork. All right, so we're at the school. I've actually already gone in, got everything taken care of. So we've been kind of battling what to do with this for a while. Um, when all this started with Carlin, I had to take like a week or two off for the first situation and stuff because honestly, I kind of figured it'd be a quick fix like that, yeah. like a week or two, see what's going on. Why Which did she crazy randomly pass Evan out? Evan never takes off work anyways. He's like really strict about always going to work. <laughs> Carlin so would like freaking out about having to take off work for two weeks. Carlin would always ask me. She'd wake up in the morning and be like, "Don't go to work this morning." Please I'm like, "Babe, you gotta be." at your job that's crazy but that's when we knew it was going to be more serious i talked to my company because i do work uh i did the apprenticeship through the school um with like the local union so the ibew i was placed with a contractor here in knoxville i called them and they recommended i take fmla they were very nice everything worked out well i think after going to our first appointment <clears throat> And then all the ER visits. Yeah, we realized. We realized, okay, they started saying she can't drive. She doesn't need to be at home with her kids alone. Like, yeah. if she feels anything, she can't be holding her kids. So then we were like, whoa. Like, yeah. like she needs 24-7 someone, like, watching Completely, her, yeah. Which sounds like, I don't know, I sound like a baby. But she hates it because, it. like we said, 90% yeah. of the time she's fine. But when she's not, you got to make sure somebody's yeah. there. So they said, why don't you take FMLA? They were very kind, very gracious, very concerned for her. They were very nice. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much long story short, it's been three months, and it doesn't feel like it has. Mm -hmm. So her doctor was saying, reach out to see if you can extend your FMLA. Sometimes they'll do that. So I reached out to my company. They said they actually do not do that, um, and that you know all the FMLA at this point had been exhausted. So pretty much to be blunt, they would have to fire me. Um, yeah. But obviously, that's no shade to them. They are very sweet and everything. It's just how it works. They they would have to take me off their payroll. Um, so they did. Which FYI, FMLA is not paid. So it hasn't been right. being paid through the last. It three just protects months. your job while yeah. you're off. But since that has now exhausted, there was really nothing to protect my job. And I don't blame them. They don't want to yeah, keep somebody on their roster that, that that can't be there. And doesn't know when they can go back. Right. So that's where we were at. Um, finished up school in spring. I was able to get my journeyman ticket. Um, and now that FMLA has exhausted, we were deciding, do I go back to work as a journeyman? And hire someone. And hire some. I'd have to hire two people. Like, I don't trust somebody to watch the kids necessarily and take care of her, really. Maybe I could. I don't know. It's like, if I have an episode, I'm out for like two to three days right. after that. If it's like a bad win. Yeah. So I can't technically watch the kids by myself, but yeah. I'm fine if I haven't had a seizure. So I would have had to at least hire one person and like, all day long, every day a week. Yeah, it's like that doesn't really you know cost benefit me working um so i'm on the hand where i'm the wife and i kind of like feel bad because i know he's putting his life on hold in a sense for me babe. because he's worked five years to get his ticket and he's worked really hard i'm so proud of him y'all know that stop it's not your fault i'm glad to do it but um, we've been praying about it we've been going back and forth and obviously i want him to be around with me as well than someone else and then basically all oh, the money yeah. he's gonna be making is going to be giving to the babysitter i don't want to just be at work every day knowing someone else is taking care of her and if something bad happens like what am i gonna do just stay at work and be like well you better get her to the hospital no like yeah. i would be leaving work anyways anytime something happened so long story short we have just decided um I'm gonna hold on to my journeyman ticket. Praise the Lord, that's something once you, you get it. Up today, that's what he just Yeah, once to you get. get it, you get it and you have it. So pretty much at this time we feel it's best for me to kind of freeze the ticket or however you wanna look at it. Um, I'll still always be a journeyman wireman, but for now I'm not gonna be working with them. And hopefully if we do get to figure this out sooner or later, he can always come back and like start it will be with a different company but since he's did the work did the school work it might be with the same the company yeah. 
Yeah. We, we never know. With the union, they place you with who's open. Uh, as long as there's a lot of work going on, normally that's not a big issue and you'll find a job. Um, so it just depends. Whenever I'm ready to come back, I can come back. Yeah, so we kind of just wanted to update y'all on like work standpoint and yeah. where we're at. And then secondly, um, we're also really grateful because we were chatting too. Evan, since this has happened, has been able to work for, y'all know that me and my sister-in-law own a boutique, Bates Sisters Boutique. Zach has been working for the boutique since it started, mm -hmm. and Evan always had his 9 to 5, so he couldn't really do a I lot. really didn't do much there at all. Like yeah. It was honestly, Zach managed a lot of it. Carlin and Whitney, obviously, as the owners, did a ton of it. And I would try and help with what I could, but I really, I wasn't involved. I didn't know yeah. as much as them. And But lately, since all this has happened, we've had to figure out plans. So he's been coming to work with me anyways because yeah. I can't drive myself. And so the boutique has been <clears throat> able to like hire him yeah. um, to help fill in some of the gaps. So that's helped us on like the income basis. And I'm so thankful for that because I don't know, like it'd be really hard if I didn't already have a job and be like self-employed where I can work from home or I can work on the go. And I know a lot of people um, out there have probably been through that. Yeah. And I mean, I can't imagine heart, like our hearts go out to you. So we're just, we're really blessed for the situation that we're in that we can, like we are able to both of us work at the boutique at this point and yeah. it's kind of it's kind of been fun at the same time because Zach and Whitney are working as couples so it's kind of been like a couple environment and we've leaned on each other so well I love being home really with my family grateful. obviously oh, I'm yeah. a big family guy I just obviously wish it was under different circumstances yeah. but um, we're, we're just gonna try and make the best of it I mean five years has brought us here praise the Lord I was able to get through it right at like the perfect time I mean, that and, was God's hand all over it yeah. because it was such a blessing. Yeah. So, we're at a good place. We prayed about it. This is where we're at right now. And we thank y'all for, like, checking in and um, supporting us through this. But we'll update y'all if anything changes or if we find out more things or whatnot. But So, fired grateful. and hired in the same day. And my wife is my new boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's almost worse because I put more pressure on you to perform even better because you're my husband. Yeah, Carlin, it's weird. Carlin expects more out of me than the electrical <laughs> guys did. No, you're great. You're great. I'm going to be a great boss. So that's kind of got you caught up. Journeyman ticket in hand officially. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. It does feel good. I know I'm like you leaving it. it for now, but... That doesn't mean you can't go back. And I'm leaving it for a great reason. Like I feel God's peace about it so much and... um it just feels good to have it done and have it in hand. So, you're so sweet.